I'm going to talk tonight about um, igniters and how to augment them for lighting um, either 3 inch or 4 inch um, M motors. And so first off there is a, a difference between an E match and a, an igniter. And so E matches are usually used for smaller motors that have a pellet in them or for ejection charges. And so an igniter is meant to light the motor and it'll go up into the core. This is a 98 millimeter grain. And you can tell that that's a pretty big job for that igniter to do. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use two igniters and we're going to augment it with some of the C-Star propellant. And it's really hard to see from this angle here, so I'm going to move the camera over here and we'll be looking down onto this white surface and hopefully it'll be a little bit easier. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get two igniters that are long enough to go up inside the motor. If your motor is this long, we want igniters at least that long. And if you, they can't be too long, you don't want to burn up the igniter lead. So there's one, and here's two. So this one's long enough too. So if we look at the nozzle on this, that's what our dual igniter with augmentation is going to have to go through. And so it's a three quarter inch nozzle. It's pretty good size. And so we're going to use some scrap propellant. And the heads on these igniters are about 29 millimeter or an inch long. And we actually want to do about 40 millimeters or an inch and a half long maybe by a quarter inch and the piece needs to be kind of a pie shaped thing so that it's got a fine edge to it that the e-match igniter will ignite easily so we're going to cut some propellant off of here about a quarter inch thick the type of propellant you want to use is usually a blue or anything that lights easily. So here's our fine edge. I don't know if you can see that. And it gets thicker as we come this way. So all we're going to do is make a couple of straight lines. That's going to be one piece. And this will be our other piece. And we want them to be about an inch and a half long or 40 millimeters. So they're a little bit long, so we're just going to cut them down. So we can see that they're about half again as long as the igniter. And the reason being is, is that I'm going to tie propellant on with thread. And I'm going to wrap the thread around the actual igniter head. And if it, we left it like that, as soon as we lit it, the piece would fall off. But this part down here, we're going to tie it on very securely. So when it lights up here and burns the thread, it's still going to be attached to the wires. So we're just going to take our thread color doesn't matter and 
neatness doesn't count. And I just want to make that propellant in contact with that E-match. And if you see, from here to here, there's no pyrogen. And that's where I really want to wrap it on good so that once it ignites, it doesn't burn through the thread down there and it holds it together. These are just a whole bunch of wraps. And then half hitches or anything you can do. So there's one. And I'll take up some, some close up pictures to show you. And down here a lot, so it doesn't fall off the wire. So now we have augmented our igniters. So the next thing we want to do is to make these so that we can get them all wet into the core. You know, the core might be an inch or larger and we may have to send it up 36 inches and you can see that that's not going to work just like it is. And so what we're going to use is an eighth inch wooden dowel. And these are pretty cheap ones, but they're actually kind of good. And so the launch pads that I use are about 18 inches off the ground where the nozzle is going to be and that these dowels are pretty flexible. That if this is the ground and here's my nozzle right here, I can take this without breaking the dowel and get it to go up into the motor. So that's pretty cool about these. So if you, you have to go buy them, see how flexible they are. Again, it's about 20 inches off the ground or where the stops are on the rails that I use. So to attach those, we're going to just tape it on. We're going to tape two of these, straighten the leads out. And we're going to put this dowel right at the very beginning of these E-matches. And we're going to put a layer of tape around one right here. And I just broke the dowel. but it's plenty long. And the reason we want to use the dowel or, or something similar is that we want it to be consumed at motor ignition. So the second one we're going to put down slightly from the first one, right about there. So come down about a foot or so. And then right there. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these and I'm going to bend them. 
going to bend them different ways. And so now when I put this in the grain, hopefully you'll be able to see from the top that that's in contact with the propellant. And the reason I left that little bit out the top is I want to light the grain just down from the top a little bit. So then we can see if that will in fact fit through our nozzle. Again, this is a three-quarter inch nozzle. And it goes right in. Now it's going to pull them back. So once I get this all sized and taped up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some super glue on here. So now I'm gluing them on. And I didn't do this ahead of time because I would have glued them to my fingers, my hand, or my workbench. So again, I'll take a bunch of pictures of what I'm doing. Hopefully the pictures will help. And so you have two batteries for your altimeters. You have dual altimeters. You have dual e ejection charges. And it only makes sense to have dual igniters for your project. It doesn't cost a lot of money. It takes a little bit of know-how. It's pretty easy to find extra propellant at launch. And all you really need is the eighth inch dowel, some tape, some super glue, and thread. So I'm going to take some pictures of this. And then tomorrow, because it's nighttime here, we're going to go out and we're going to um, show you how easily it goes up into a rocket with the wooden dowel and then we'll put a e-match, a bare igniter and then this dual igniter augmented on a piece of plywood and we'll light them all at the same time and see how that looks and which, how it goes. So until tomorrow. We're going to go ahead and put the igniter in this mocked up rocket. And so here's the igniter. We're going to cut the stick back to about an inch using wire cutters. We'll go ahead and bend the stick. I'm going to put it all the way in. For right now, we can just keep it right there. We're going to make these wires both the same length. Both igniters are going to be the same length. Strip this one back. So if we have the red cap, we would be using the red cap. This red cap doesn't fit this EX motor, so we're going to use a couple of pieces of duct tape. We want it to hold some of the pressure at startup. These pieces are about two inches long. We're going to use two of them. So 
we're going to put this up in there all the way to the top. We're going to figure out where we need to cut this right at the top of the nozzle. And all we're doing is we're cutting a stick to length. Then we're going to take one of the pieces of the duct tape, put it over the nozzle opening. We'll fold the nylon wires up there a little bit. And we're going to put one more. At this point, the rocket would already be armed. We want to be careful with the rocket that we don't trigger the launch detect. And then we're going to take one leg from each of the igniters and we're going to twist those together. And we'll take the second leg, one from each igniter and twist those together. Now I've bared about two inches of the copper wire. I'm going to take one, hook it on there on the tip, and then I'm just going to wrap this around. Take my leads. Make sure they're not touching. Grab all my garbage. Making sure my altimeter is beeping out when I want to. Check the continuity. We're ready to go. You match on the left, igniter in the middle, and augmented dual igniter on the right going in five. Four, three, two, one.